Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in using the web view options in AppGyver, essentially you want to add a web page to your mobile application, but you aren't quite sure what's the best option for you, stay tuned. We're going to be covering two ways to do this in this video. Now, before we get started, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now, you may notice on the left-hand side here, we have the internet browser opened up using AppGyver. On the right-hand side, I am actually screen sharing with my phone because the web view options only work on mobile devices. So we're going to have to use the AppGyver preview app. But this is basically just my cell phone screen right here on the right-hand side. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need to do is install the component and the flow function. So I have two buttons here. One is going to open up a page that has the web view component. The other is going to open up a modal, which is basically your web view flow function, which will keep you on this page, but effectively open the modal up over top of it. Now, one thing to consider when you're doing this is make sure that you test on Android and iOS devices. If you plan to publish to both, you technically should be doing this anyway, but for iOS devices, at least at the time of filming this video, there's no native navigation menu. So some of these functions could open up a new screen that doesn't have a back button. So users may have to close your app. Whereas in Android, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, there is navigation menus built in already. So you should be able to navigate back and forth without any trouble. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to the component market here, and we're just going to type in web. And you should see multiple options. Just click around until you find this web view option. So essentially, you're just going to click on the install button. I already have it installed, so you'll just see it'll populate here in this installed tab. Your screen may look like this in the beginning. Just click over here, and then you can just drag the component over. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new page for this. So I have this page here. I'm just going to drag the web view component over, and then we need a URL to open. So this is a forum post that I had for AppGyver to ask about the security for this feature. And if that's a question you may have, you'll see an AppGyver team member posted in here to provide details on this flow function. So I will put this link in the description, but you can at least see the content here. So we'll refresh this page, <clears throat> make sure that everything's up to date. And we're just going to cut this URL. And then we will go over here. We'll click on the web view component and go to properties and paste in that URL. Or you can use HTML content and you can also use the blocked URL option. You can adjust style and layout here. One thing to note is make sure that you have some kind of navigation ability to go back to the application once you've actually finished using this. So this will open up that web page when you're on this specific page. But now we want to use the flow function and compare the two and see what's better. So the first option here is to open a modal. So this is going to be the flow function. So what we're going to do, just like we did before, we're going to open up the logic for the button. So we're going to click the button, bring this menu up, and then we're going to go to the installed tab. Now, if you don't have this, just like we did before, you can just go to the market and type in web. And then you should see an open web browser option. You'll click this and again, just click install. Once you've done that, you can bring this function over and then you can connect the two and simply click on this and paste in the URL to open. And then there is an option to have a cancel button here. So I'll just enable that. And then we will ha <clears throat> essentially have these two set up. So the second option, I'm making sure just to have the open page and it's going to open the other web page or the other app page that we have available with this web preview. So button one is a flow function to open the open web browser modal. Option two opens the other page in the app that uses the web preview option. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how it works. Over here in the AppGyver preview app, we are at this open web page. So if we click open modal, you'll see we, you'll see we have the cancel button up here. And here we have the page that we were essentially working with earlier. So you'll see this, what appears to be a mobile view option. So we'll click cancel. So again, this is what the modal or the flow function looks like. So that was this button here. You'll see it's just using this open browser option. So we'll click on cancel. Now we'll click open page. So you'll see that it's taking us to the wrong page. So we just need to adjust this really quickly. 
and change the navigation to web preview, which is the other page name. So we'll save that, wait on this to update. So now when we open the modal, same exact thing, just opens that web page. And then when we click open page, you'll see we have the web preview right here as well. So for me personally, I prefer this web preview option because you can adjust the size if you're interested. So you can go to this web preview page. And then when you click on this, you can go to layout, width and height. And you can use any of these options here to do exact size, fit content, but basically you could work on a formula if you wanted to make this full page or if you only wanted to make it a certain size for the page. But the cool part about this feature is if you don't need the full web page available like this, you can have one web page here and then one web page right down here and then people can get, kind of navigate between the two. So you have the ability to use any of these width and height options. Uh, so in a previous video I have, we went through the AppGyver forums and you can actually find a forum that uses the viewport height. So you should just be able to type in viewport height and then you can see that there uh, are forum topics on this. So if you go in here and you type in viewport height, you should be able to search for viewport height system variable. And then you can go through and actually find the viewport height variable, which is basically going to make the preview the full size of this, this screen here. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. And I will actually put the variable for the viewport height and width in the description if that helps at all. And then I will see you all in the next video.